Hi, this is Anna, and this is Pop Crochet Mini Planters Crochet Video Tutorial. Add a stylish bit of greenery with these mini planters, even if they're fake, giving that modern farmhouse or boho style decor feel in your space. We'll be using bulky or super bulky yarn. Karen Sprinkle Cakes, Lime Brand Wool is Thick and Quick, Loops and Threads Charisma. Now, I love these guys because they have tons of cool, bright colors. And even though the bulky yarn calls for an 8mm hook, I'll be using a 6mm crochet hook because I want my stitches to be nice and tight. So let's start with the base. This is Loops and Threads Honey Tweed Yarn with 6mm hook. Start with 3 chains and connect the ends with a slip stitch to form a ring. Then start your new row with a chain and then 7 single crochet stitches all around the ring. Why seven single crochet stitches to start a circle? I learned this years ago when I first started learning how to crochet from Caroline at her pinkmambo.com website. With six stitches, the circle starts to cup a little. With eight stitches, it'll give that extra fullness. But for some reason, the circle stays flat with seven single crochet stitches. So now once you finish the row, pull the tail to close up the hole. Pull it as tight as you can. We're gonna end the row with a seam. We usually end the row with a slip stitch, but I don't like the way it looks and it doesn't stay straight. So I'm going to show you how to do an almost invincible seam. At the last stitch of the row, take your hook out of the loop. Insert your hook at the next stitch of the both loops from behind. Then take the loop and put it in your hook. Then pull your hook through the stitch. Now we are about to start the next row. Make a chain. Then start your single crochet stitch on the very same stitch where you inserted your hook from behind. Now we can start the increases by doing two single crochet stitches on each stitch. So we'll end up on this row with 14 stitches. End of the row. So again, we're going to do the almost invincible seam process. Remember, when you pull the hook back from behind, pull it to tighten. This will help hide the seam. Row 3, another increase. After the chain, I start with one single crochet on the first stitch, then two single crochet stitches on the next. Follow through till the end, so we'll end up with 21 stitches. Finish up with the almost invisible seam process and get ready for row 4. If you already know how to crochet circles, and you do the traditional way of placing the increases on top of the increase from the previous row, the shape starts looking like an octagon. Before I go ahead, just to make sure we're on the same page, an increase is making two single crochet stitches on one stitch. Now, the trick of making a perfect circle is to stagger the increases. Make sure not to put your increase on top of the increase from the previous row. So for row 4, I'm going to start with 2 single crochet stitches on the next 2 stitches, then increase on the 3rd. Repeat till the end, so we'll end up with 28 stitches. After row 4, it's looking flat and a perfect circle. So far so good. So for row 5, I'm going to start my row with an increase, which means 2 single crochet stitches on the 1st stitch then 3 single crochet stitches on the next 3 stitches, then increase. Again, repeat this till the end, and we should have 35 total single crochet stitches. Now it's time to evaluate our project. This is a mini planter, so my base should not be bigger than 3 inches, so I'm going to stop here. Now if you want to make a larger planter or basket, then keep going and make your circle base larger. The size of your basket is based on the size of your circle. Our next step is the body of the basket. To give a nice separation from the base to the body, we will crochet the next row back loop only. No more increasing, so it will be 35 stitches from here on. Crocheting on the back loop only is just on this one row, because after this, it will be both loops, just a normal single crochet method. We're going to keep finishing our rows with a seam. So same almost invisible seam process and don't forget to do the chain before you start the new row. So let's check this out. You'll see that the separation between the base and the body. Now you have a better vision of the size of your basket. If you want it bigger, frog the last row and continue making your circle bigger. 
but I'm good with this, so I'm going to keep going. From here on, we're going to crochet normal single crochet stitches, ending with a seam. Make sure it's 35 stitches to keep your basket nice and straight. If not, then it will start curling on you. Fast forward, I just finished nine rows. So let's check our work. Nice and straight, base is flat. Looks good, but I think I'm going to add more rows. So let's keep going. I'm going to stop every two rows to determine if I want to keep going or stop once I reach my desired height. Fast forward, just finished the 12th row and I think this height looks good. It's three inches tall and I think it's just perfect for my mini planter. So let's cut off the end, weave it in with a darning needle and oh yeah, let's not forget the tail. Let's cut off that too. Let's complete the planter. I'm going to fill it up with scrap paper. Crumple it into a ball, then add in the fake succulent that I got at Michael's. Fill it up with tissue paper to help the succulent centered. Then cover the tissue paper with fake dried moss, also from Michael's. And just keep adding dried moss until the tissue paper is completely covered. And this one is done. Here's another way. I got this cute planter also at Michael's. Now let's put in the crochet planter like a sleeve cover. Make sure it totally covers the wood planter. And look at that. It just gave the planter a cube shape. I love it. I did the same thing with this cute blue mini planter. I got this fake plant at a dollar store and just put it inside the crochet planter and that's it. How cute are these guys? So easy to make. And this can be a great practice for you if you plan to make a bigger basket. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment. Let me know what you think. Please like and share and subscribe. More cool patterns coming soon. And check out my website. This is Anna. Happy crocheting.